How does the short-term rental business model work in Dubai? What are the benefits and challenges of this type of business? And how can you succeed in this competitive and lucrative market? Without further ado, let's get into it. Number 1. What is a short-term rental business model? A short-term rental business model is a type of business that involves renting out properties for short periods of time such as days, weeks, or months. These properties are usually fully furnished and equipped with all the necessary amenities and utilities. They're also known as holiday homes or vacation rentals, and they cater to different types of travelers such as tourists, business visitors, or expats. A short-term rental business model can be operated by individual owners who rent out their own properties or by professional companies who manage multiple properties on behalf of owners. In Dubai, there are various platforms and websites that connect short-term rental hosts and guests such as Airbnb, Booking.com, or Frank Porter. These platforms provide online booking, payment and review systems that facilitate the short-term rental process. Number 2. What are the benefits of a short-term rental business model? A short-term rental business model has many benefits for both hosts and guests. Here are some of them. For hosts, a short-term rental business model can provide a higher income than a long-term rental business model. According to Frank Porter, renting a property short-term over 2-3 years can give a return of 20-40% to higher than long-term. This is because hosts can adjust their prices according to the season, demand, and occupancy rate. For hosts, a short-term rental business model can also provide more flexibility and control over the properties. Hosts can choose when and how often they want to rent out their properties, and they can also use their properties for their own purposes when they're not rented out. For guests, a short-term rental business model can provide more comfort, privacy, space, and value than a hotel or a hotel apartment. Guests can enjoy the feeling of living like a local in a home away from home with access to amenities such as kitchen, laundry, parking, or pool. Guests can also save money by cooking their own meals or sharing the cost with other travelers. For guests, a short-term rental business model can also provide more variety and choice than a hotel or a hotel apartment. Guests can find properties in different locations, sizes, styles, and budgets in Dubai. Guests can also choose from different types of properties such as apartments, villas, studios, or penthouses. Number 3. What are the challenges of a short-term rental business model? A short-term rental business model also has some challenges for both hosts and guests. Here are some of them. For hosts, a short-term rental business model requires more time, effort, and investment than a long-term rental business model. Hosts need to maintain their properties in good condition, provide cleaning and maintenance services regularly, communicate with guests before and during their stay, and handle any issues or complaints that may arise. For hosts, a short-term rental business model also requires more compliance and regulation than a long-term rental business model. Hosts need to obtain a permit from the Dubai Department of Tourism and Commerce Marketing or DTCM to operate their properties as holiday homes. Hosts also need to pay fees and taxes to the authorities such as Tourism Durham Fee, VAT, or Income Tax. For guests, a short-term rental business model may involve some risks and uncertainties than a hotel or a hotel apartment. Guests may face issues such as inaccurate or misleading property descriptions, poor quality or cleanliness standards, cancellation or overbooking problems, or security or safety concerns. For guests, a short-term rental business model may also involve some inconveniences and limitations than a hotel or a hotel apartment. Guests may not have access to certain services or facilities that hotels offer, such as concierge, room service, or spa. Guests may also have to follow certain rules or regulations that hosts impose, such as check-in, out times, noise levels, or guest numbers. Number 4. How to succeed in a short-term rental business model to succeed in a short-term rental business model in Dubai, hosts and guests need to follow some best practices and tips. Here are some of them. For hosts, it's important to have a clear and attractive property listing that showcases the features, benefits, and unique selling points of their properties. Hosts should use high-quality photos, detailed descriptions, and honest reviews to attract potential guests. Hosts should also use keywords and tags that match the search criteria of their target audience. For hosts, it's also important to have a competitive and dynamic pricing strategy that reflects the market conditions and demand. Hosts should use tools and data to analyze their competitors, seasonality, and occupancy rate, and adjust their prices accordingly. 
Hosts should also offer discounts or incentives for longer stays or repeat bookings to increase their revenue and loyalty. For guests, it's important to do their research and due diligence before booking a short-term rental property in Dubai. Guests should compare different options and prices, read reviews and ratings, and contact hosts for any questions or clarifications. Guests should also check the cancellation policy and the terms and conditions of their booking to avoid any surprises or disputes. For guests, it's also important to be respectful and responsible when staying in a short-term rental property in Dubai. Guests should follow the house rules and regulations, keep the property clean and tidy, and report any damages or issues to the host. Guests should also leave a fair and constructive feedback for the host and the property after their stay. Some of the popular areas for short-term rentals in Dubai are Dubai Marina This is a waterfront community that offers stunning views of the Arabian Gulf, the Palm Jumeirah, and the Dubai skyline. It has a variety of properties such as apartments, villas, studios, or penthouses that are suitable for short-term rentals. It also has many amenities and attractions such as restaurants, cafes, shops, malls, marinas, beaches, and parks. According to Driven Properties, the average monthly rent for a one-bedroom apartment in Dubai Marina is around 15,000 AED. Downtown Dubai This is the heart of the city that hosts some of the most iconic landmarks such as Burj Khalifa, Dubai Mall, and Dubai Fountain. It has a range of properties such as apartments, villas, or lofts that are ideal for short-term rentals. It also has many facilities and activities such as hotels, restaurants, bars, clubs, cinemas, museums, and galleries. According to Driven Properties, the average monthly rent for a one-bedroom apartment in downtown Dubai is around 18,000 AED. Business Bay This is a central business district that offers a mix of residential and commercial properties. It has various types of properties such as apartments, offices, or serviced residences that are convenient for short-term rentals. It also has many amenities and services such as banks, supermarkets, pharmacies, salons, spas, and gyms. According to Driven Properties, the average monthly rent for a one-bedroom apartment in Business Bay is around 14,000 AD. CityWalk This is a trendy and urban community that offers a blend of modern and traditional architecture. It has different kinds of properties such as apartments, villas, or townhouses that are perfect for short-term rentals. It also has many features and attractions such as retail outlets, restaurants, cafes, entertainment venues, and parks. According to Driven Properties, the average monthly rent for a one-bedroom apartment in CityWalk is around 22,000 AD. These are some of the popular areas for short-term rentals in Dubai, but there are many more options available depending on your preferences and budget. You can use platforms like Airbnb, Booking.com, or Frank Porter to find and book your ideal short-term rental property in Dubai. However, the short-term rental business model in Dubai also has some challenges and regulations that need to be followed. Some of these are, it requires a permit from the Dubai Department of Tourism and Commerce Marketing, or DTCM, which is valid for one year and costs 1,520 AD. It requires a license from the Real Estate Regulatory Agency, or RERA, which is valid for three years and costs 1,070 AD. It requires a registration with the Dubai Land Department, or TLD, which costs 585 AD. It requires a contract with a licensed holiday home operator or management company who will handle the bookings, maintenance, cleaning, and customer service of the property. It requires compliance with the quality standards, safety measures, and guest behavior rules set by the DTCM. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. For more information, make sure to check with local authorities. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon.